Wow, we look at this program. Improve your system performance, your visuals, your frame rate, your load times, and more. Razor Cortex, where have you been all my life? Said nobody ever. What a load of snake oil. Let's get to the video. Okay, okay, so I know that intro is a little bit rich. But guys, if it isn't obvious by now, let me just unequivocally state it. I don't recommend Razor Cortex. And I'm going to show you why a little bit later. And the guy that asked me to make this video, I'm not going to mention you by name. I hope I'm not offending you. But I hope that you get my message. Don't use Razor Cortex. So guys, let me go to the app. So the rewards, it's nice. It's got a nice user interface. And the deals here. Cool, don't care. System booster. Okay, doesn't really work. Game booster. So now I've switched the boost off. I'm going to boost and show you what I mean. So let's just go to the task manager here. So, okay, I'm using OBS, so it's a little bit higher than normal. But, so my memory is at 18% and then my performance, it's at almost 3 gigs, 2.9 gigs. So let me quickly do the boost. And as you can see, it's supposedly clearing out all this RAM. Okay, let's go back to Task Manager. Okay, go to Performance. So it supposedly cleaned out two, three hundred megabytes of RAM, but it didn't. I'm still at 2.8, borderline 2.9. And as, as you can see, um, yeah, my memory usage got, went down by 1%. And to you, it might look like there was improvement. But let me just show you something quickly. The other day, I did a video where I showed you once you disable services and once you optimize your PC, you should be looking like this. I've got 16 gigs of RAM. So at idle, when Windows is idle, my RAM is between 13 and 14 percent. Got very few background processes, etc. And then yeah, so I'm normally sitting at 2.1 gigs at idle. So I suppose you could optimize more than that, but it's that's pretty that's a pretty optimized system. So what Razer Cortex introduces, okay, so it cleans up all these things, but just to run Razer Cortex, look at this. You got Razer Cortex the app up, and you got a boost helper, and then all these are new services over here. You got the Cortex launcher service, you got the game manager service. Um, I don't have an edge on my computer, so I just added all these things. Microsoft Edge, WebView, a whole bunch of instances of that. And then you got Razer Central, Razer Central Service, Razer Cortex. It just introduces so much extra junk. So even though it does clean up things and it does lower the RAM usage a little bit, normally I'm sitting at 2 gigs, 2.1 gigs. By using Razer Cortex, I'm using an extra gig of RAM just to run the program and have all the, the services and the and etc. running in the background. And then I optimize my system with Razer Cortex and it drops about 200 megabytes. Do you see what I mean? It's so counterintuitive. And with this series of videos, um, let me just show you quickly. Oh, no, no. So with these series of videos, what I normally do is, uh, so I was gonna do Razer Cortex on versus Razer Cortex off, where I benchmark eight games set at medium settings, and then I record the average FPS versus the 1% lows. It's not even worth me doing that because, um, because I already have quite an optimized system with Razer Cortex. There were such drastic stutters that the 1% lows were like in the single digits or the early double digits. Um, unless you have a very old machine, and I don't really know if Razer Cortex is going to help then, don't use Razer Cortex. It's going to drop your 1% lows, and it's actually going to make your average frame rate a couple, a couple of FPS lower as well. So guys, I know I was ranting in this video a little bit, but if you want the absolute best setting for Razer Cortex, I'm going to show you now quickly. So you go to your Windows key over here. You go to Settings. You go to Apps. And then you look for Razer Cortex. 
what is this? There we go, Razor Cortex. And there you go. This is the absolute best setting that you can use for Razor Cortex. You, go, you click on uninstall, and you're going to see it's going to optimize your computer so much better. Okay, all kidding aside, you got Razor Cortex. I recommend just get it off your system. Anyways, guys, that's me for the day. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy this, please be sure to smash that like button. If you got any questions, hit me up in the comment section. Other than that, have a fantastic Sunday. It's people like you. Cheers.